like around this area you can see it that's like right up against my lash line my brows look like blocks today hey guys so today we are doing an elf review i bought um a couple of their newer products and i've been testing them out over like the last couple of months I thought I'd give them a full review while showing you how they apply. So let's get into the video. So I'm afraid you're up close and personal because I have some eyeshadow palettes. But first I do need to apply a bit of blush. That's one of the reasons why I look so dang pale at the moment. I have got bronzer. See? Bronzer. Um, and I have highlight on. I haven't put blush on because I wanted to show you this e.l.f. blush. This is in Blushing Rose. I actually have one of these already in like a coral kind of shade. I really really enjoy it. One of the things I really liked about it was the the coral shade. You can put so many layers on and it doesn't necessarily look heavy or you know like clown cheeks. However with this one I was a little... I've been struggling with it. It's a really nice shade. It's almost like a burnt kind of reddy orange kind of shade. Really really pretty. I the only thing with this one is a lot more pigmented than what I was expecting. It reminds me more of the primer infused blushes that I've tried previously. They were ridiculously pigmented and I just, I wasn't a fan. I will say they've updated the mirrors. I'm pretty sure my mirror in my old one, which I got like two years ago, so I can understand. But the mirror was like this big. It was tiny. Like, this is a decent mirror. It's still a little bit small. It works. With this, you really have to go light. And I like a lot of blush. It's really hard for me to kind of be careful with this. What I will say as well is the fact that the slight shimmer particles in this. This one, this specific shade, just does not blend on the cheeks great. I mean, I've got powder foundation on. My cheeks are not wet. It should not be, like, sticking to certain areas more than others. But that is what I find with this blush. I mean, even on camera, you can see. Like, yeah, I think you can kind of see here, like around this area, it's picking and choosing specific spots to kind of sit on. This side's not as bad, but it's still got some texture or whatever. While I just blend this a little bit. And to be honest, I don't have that problem with any other blushes. Blushes, for the most part, Blend really nicely, go onto the cheeks really nicely. Some can be a way too pigmented, others can be dipping your brush in there like 10,000 times to get any pigment. But once you've kind of got it on the cheeks, I unless it's a shimmery blush, I don't tend to have these kind of problems. I was kind of shocked, to be honest. I mean, once it's blended, it's a lot better. So let me show you it now it's blended. For me personally, I think that these blushes it seems like they've either changed the formula or maybe some of them are just better than others. This one's just not for me. Okay, so I also have some eyeshadow palettes. Like I said, I've got, this one just spoke to me. This is like my cool tone perfect dream of a palette. There are some shimmers in here, but elf shimmers within these palettes just aren't the greatest. This is like meant to be a really nice bronze shimmer. No, it's okay, it's very crumbly. It's a little better than it used to be. The mattes are always great. Never have any issue with the mattes. And I also grabbed a Mad for Matte. I saw uh, Tati use this a couple of years ago and I've actually really been enjoying their matte palettes. And both of these were like a fiver when I bought them. So, cause I literally said to myself, I'm not buying any more eyeshadow palettes this year. And then I've gone and bought now four that lasted so i think i'm gonna try and do like a matte look with these let's pull you in just a little bit i'm gonna start with a mixture of these two shades so i've tested out the other palette and like i said the the mattes are great i have no problem with the mattes whatsoever but the shimmers just leave a lot to be desired i was hoping considering some of the other palettes that elf have their shimmers are so impressive even like the glitters like that i think it was the earth and ocean palette that i have it's really really good glitters like, like blue glitters in there are gorgeous so i don't know i was just hoping maybe they'd stepped up their game for those kind of palettes but no that was not the case unfortunately so i was a little disappointed by that I haven't actually used this Holy Smokes palette yet, so I'm going to go in with the dark brown shade deep in my crease. This is like an Essence Eye Blender brush. It's like a nice little small brush. Blending, amazing. 
no skipping. Also, I forgot to mention the Putty Eye Primer. Um, I know I really should be using that. I'm just going to go in with a mixture of these two shades on my outer corner. I actually cannot stand that eyeshadow primer. It's not because it's affordable. My One of my absolute favourite eyeshadow primers is the Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus eyeshadow primer. I love that eyeshadow primer. I think it's incredible. This thing... It is as hard as a rock. It doesn't apply well to the lids. Firstly, having to dip your finger in so many times and then dragging it because the formula is so hard across your lid, which is pulling at the skin. If you're like a little bit older like I am, if you're 30 plus, I think you start to become a lot more aware of your eyelids. Eyelid skin is so thin, really, really thin. And... I really probably don't need to put any more on, but I just want to. By dragging it, not only am I creating wrinkles, which no one wants that, possibly even texture across my skin, I'm not getting a smooth application. So I think personally, it's a complete and utter pass. I mentioned it in my NARS review that I was getting like eyeshadow blending issues with a palette I swear by. I thought maybe it's possible that because the eyeshadow palette's a bit old, um, it could have something to do with that, but it wasn't. I tested that same palette that I was using in the NARS, like the matte palette I was using in the NARS video with my normal eyeshadow primer, the Wet n Wild one, and I have no issues whatsoever. So it was definitely this friggin' thing. And what's worse, I'm just gonna use uh, the gray, light gray on my lid. Not only is all the skipping and everything an issue, but the eyeshadow doesn't even last that long. I look at my crease within about two to three hours and I had really bad bunching because my eyeshadow primer was not combating my oils at all so I don't know who that eyeshadow primer is for because it sure ain't for me I've been buying a bunch of elf eyeshadow brushes recently um I got I can't find them because I have so many freaking brushes. I got like the candy cane set, um, which is really nice. They're, they're the same kind of quality I would expect from e.l.f. Really, like, really soft. I also got a bunch of their, like, basics range, and they're really nice. They, they are a bit cheaper, obviously. Um, I also got their, like, brow brush, because I've heard this one's a lot better, and it is a lot skinnier. I really enjoy elf brushes if you're ever looking for affordable brushes do some great stuff just to bold this up a bit i'm going to take this one which is like a teal kind of color i'm just going to smudge this under my lower lash line i have got so much fallout oh not that much fallout actually this is why i now do my uh eyeshadow before my face especially with glitter i did glitter for my birthday there's so much glitter all over my face i had to use a makeup remover even then I didn't get all of it off. And then taking that off like th that night, I still had glitter particles all over my face. I'm just gonna take the white, and it's completely matte, so I'm just gonna use a white to highlight my inner corners. I think this Mad for Matte palette, just like all the other matte single eyeshadow palettes like these, blends really nicely, really affordable. I mean, these are about 10 pounds, but I mean, I got this for a fiver. So for five pounds, all these gorgeous, like you've got some more warm tone shades for more like natural kind of days, and then you've got some more deep, rustic, bold kind of shades. I love this. I think this is brilliant. The Summer Breeze one, I, have, I haven't tried that one. I've heard people say it's actually better than the original, which is more of a neutral. The only reason I haven't tried it is the fact that it's it's very warm tone, and I don't really wear warm tones anymore. But if you want like a dupe for the, the Peachy Matte palette from Too Faced, that one like a lot of people swear by. And then this one... Like, I really do like the shades. Shimmers are really, really bad. Mattes are nice, but you can just get matte palettes so you don't have to kind of work around them. The Holy Smokes palette is way better than this one. This one's in smoky. I'm gonna move on to eyeliner in a second. While we're gonna be doing that, I figured I may as well put some lip balm on. So I've been testing out this e.l.f. lip balm, the Ride or Die lip balm in Tough Cookie. I really like this lip balm. I wasn't expecting to like it as much. It's kind of between a gloss and a lip balm. See how glossy that is? And it's a really nice nude shade. The only thing I would prefer if this was at a slant so you could kind of melt it over your lips easier. So with this I think it's like really comfortable. You get a lot of product for the price. I think this is about four or five pounds. I really like the colour. I like that it's glossy so if you want you could just put in a lip liner and put this over the top. 
and it'd be like a really nice moisturizing lip gloss so I really really like these and they have a bunch of colors I also thought I would try out one of elf's eyeliners this is the no budge retractable lip liner in black lip liner <laughs> eyeliner in black it is a retractable so I much prefer retractables I think they're so much more convenient now it's not the blackest black like if I've gone over that a couple of times and now it's like pretty black but it could be a lot deeper but it is a really really affordable eyeliner and I'm going to do my top and bottom lash line So that applied really, really nicely. Some eyeliners, you're going over and over and over, and the more you go over, you tend to take the eyeliner off. So it's like a losing battle every time. With this one, it's it applies really nicely. You do have to go over it a couple of times, but that's pretty normal. I'm really impressed with this eyeliner. The good thing about retractables is to do the upper waterline can be so, it's very tickly. So to have it like a little bit further retracted, and then to do it is so much easier. We just got a couple more products. So I got a pair of e.l.f. lashes because, shit, I'll have to go get my glue. I've really been enjoying eyelashes. They do give you a pair of eyelash, what, what are these called, tweezers? To be fair, I didn't have before. Although these ones don't fully clip, so I'm not even sure this would be great. These are what the lashes look like. I have heard that the band is a bit thick with e.l.f. eyelashes, so, Give me a minute to put these on because I'll be here forever on camera to put these on and then I'll be back to show you. I know I put them on terribly, but they are impossible to get on. Is the band so thick? Like this is this corner's not even going to stick because the glue dried or something. Band's so thick you can see it. That's like right up against my lash line. I can't be asked to do the whole of this video with these things on. Now I understand why no one uh, wears these. Look at the end. I haven't trimmed these. They don't look great. I put a bunch of mascara on because this looks 10,000 times better without those lashes. Because I forgot to show you. That's how hard this primer is. I have this uh, satin lipstick. By the way, I love this new packaging. It's so simplistic. And you can see the contraption, how it moves up and down. I don't know if you can tell because of the light. See where this moves round. So I do this. I just thought it was so cool. So this is a satin lip. This is cream or creme. And it's just a nice nude shade. It's a really nice shade. I don't have anything bad to say about it. It's like a comfortable matte because it's not really, really drying. It won't show any like cracks or anything in the lips. Do a quick swatch. This shade really doesn't go with this eye look, but... It is nice. It's a nice, comfortable lipstick. Next is, I had to just try this new shade in... Of their matte liquid lipstick in coffee. I love their liquid lipstick so. Love it. It's just a nice dark brown. The good thing about this is it's really affordable. It is a drying matte liquid lipstick. It hasn't fully dried down yet obviously but you can already start to see the cracks in my lips. Just a nice coffee brown lipstick. I'm glad they've done some deeper shades so that people with darker skin tones can hopefully appreciate these if they like matte lipsticks. And lastly for lips, I do have one other product, but for lastly for lips is the Sheer Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is in Praline Petal and reminds me of Lolita. It is a more blotted kind of lip. That's what it means by Sheer Matte. So this is more like a lip stain. It stays on really nicely. It doesn't doesn't really transfer because it's a matte lipstick. And lastly, I want to talk about the Stale Day Micro Fine uh, Setting Mist. I was so fucking excited when I heard about this. Up to 16 hour wear setting spray, I saw Manny MUA use this and it was a very fine mist. So I was like, I need to try that. I was testing it out literally months ago um, and you can tell because I was still with my boyfriend at the time in this video. Problem with this... It doesn't work. Like, it was working and then I don't know if it's got stuck or... Mine's broken. And I really liked this mist. This is close second to my Catrice setting spray, which I absolutely love. So, 
if it hadn't have broken i would have been like this is an amazing setting spray i love it but i can't recommend it because my thing broke and it worked for about a week and now it doesn't fucking work what is this no idea if it i've accidentally knocked it if i've accidentally broken it how can you break a setting spray nozzle i'm putting that down to elf and not down to me <laughs> i hope you found this review helpful please leave a like down below if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you feel like it i do try to do like elf and essence and catrice and all those kind of affordable brands quite often if you like that kind of content please subscribe and i hope to see you all very soon in the next video bye